past 12-ish years, I've been the one of the partners in Chief Legal Counsel for NCT Ventures. In uh, 2010, I started what I call my accidental law firm. My husband and I, we launched our own CrossFit gym. I'm also an adjunct professor at The Ohio State University. I've just always kind of liked having my hands in a lot of things, but I think it actually keeps me fresher. One, because the busier I am, the more on it I have to be. Um, and then additionally, I see so many different things and how things are happening across really the country. And I'm able to kind of like triangulate things differently than I think a lot of other people can. So I love venture, probably more than anybody else, okay? Uh, I love the idea of creating a thesis around how you want to raise capital and deploy it, lifting up a fund from the legal perspective, finding new companies to invest in, deploying capital, growing them, uh, you know, exiting them and starting it all over again. I am fiercely feminine. I am unapologetic about it. Like I wear fleshy earrings and bright clothes and all that kind of stuff. But that's just me, you know, and, and I encourage anyone, you know, don't hide who you are in, you know, your career and whatever. Like, you have to be you, and if you can't be you in that career or that space, it's probably not a great space for you. Women are grossly underfunded in venture capital. Uh, recent statistics show that women get 2.2% of venture capital dollars. So um, for me, you know, knowing that I'm in the position that I am and I know how to deploy capital and I know how to find good teams and good companies, um, I'm really looking forward to finding a way to make that happen and make those stats better for women. And so in 10 years, I can look back and say, you know, Lindsay, what was your legacy? And I can say, I changed the scene of venture capital.